for some the new year has been good for some the new year has been bad but if we specifically talk about the people of japan then this new year has brought devastation for japan and its people hello and welcome to the in depth series section of drishti ias i am aisha singh and in today's episode we will be talking about the topic of japan earthquakes which have triggered the warning for a tsunami in japan so the points of discussion will be about the news then about what is tsunami why is japan prone to earthquake and tsunamis and what are the reasons that tsunami comes and in the end prelims mcq topic is of relevance from general studies paper 1 that is geography section and also gs paper 3 that is environment section so let's begin and the news talks about that japan earthquake triggers tsunami warning tsunami warning now what is a tsunami and why does it keep forming in the island country now what is tsunami first of all and then why is it that the country japan is so prone to tsunami and earthquakes so first of all let's see these pick few of these pictures that are that i've put for you people that these are the situ this is the situation in japan and these are the devastating pictures that the roads have also been displaced the houses have been displaced and people have been asked to move to into safer places by the government of japan so the tsunami waves hit several parts of japan's coastal areas so earthquake and volcano triggered tsunami has hit several coastal areas of japan and the urgent evacuation evacuation warnings has been issued by the government of japan and the earthquake that shook the country recently on new year was of the magnitude 7.6 magnitude earthquake so 7.6 magnitude earthquake if we talk about then on a, in a rector scale this magnitude is of very high intensity magnitude and this magnitude earthquake causes destruction and this is the reason that why the houses have been uprooted trees have been uprooted roads have been displaced people have been asked to move into safer areas and then let us talk about tsunami so the word tsunami is a japanese word and meaning of the word is a harbor wave and what happens in a tsunami like if we talk about there is a series of waves and a very high and a very large waves in size which comes and it crosses the ocean and the waves are so high and so large in size that it crosses the ocean and comes into and comes into the area where humans are living so it is a series of giant ocean waves giant ocean waves which is caused by earthquakes or volcanic eruptions under the ocean so specifically if we talk about what is a tsunami so tsunami is a series of large or giant ocean waves now this is tsunami and what are the few of the reasons of tsunami is that within the ocean when a volcanic eruption takes place it leads to tsunami and then if earthquake takes place then it leads to tsunami so these are two of the biggest reasons for tsunami formation then when an earthquake takes place under the ocean a large chunk of the ocean floor can suddenly move upward or downward now what happens imagine that this is a ocean floor now when the earthquake will take place inside the ocean it means that the movement of the water is taking place within the ocean that is inside of the ocean so if some kind of movement is taking place circular movement is taking place then what will happen you will be able to see the effect of the inside circulation which is taking place on the surface of the ocean so that surface of the ocean triggers a large and a heavy and a giant face or a wave leading to a sudden displacement of a large volume of water so thereby causing tsunami waves now what will happen imagine this is a ocean floor then here the earthquake is taking place now this movement of the earthquake what will happen that the effect will also be observed on the surface of the ocean now this surface of the ocean because of the movement of the earthquake within the ocean a large waves would be generated 
on the ocean and then these large waves when they will become very large in size what they will do that a series of waves will be generated and that series of waves when it will be generated then it will keep on moving one after the other and this was about earthquake and now let's talk about the effect of volcano then volcano lava flowing out of the volcano displaces the water around it and that water can become a large wave now imagine that this is ocean floor and here a inside a volcano eruption takes place now when the volcano eruption will take place then lava will get dispersed when lava will get dispersed and the lava is hot in nature then what will happen the displacement of the water will take place in the surrounding area and when that displacement of water takes place in the surrounding area that water which gets displaced forms and takes form of a large wave and then also a series of large wave forms or takes place then big tsunamis usually begin in the deep ocean where a large volume of water can be displaced the largest of tsunamis can occur in deep ocean because the displacement of water see if the large waves will come imagine that this is the size of the wave this wave can be generated at shallow places also but if the waves has to be large then the water which is getting displaced has to, or has also needs to be large and giant so the water which gets displaced should also be large so to to get the place where the water displacement takes place the area has to be very very deep and that is why the deep ocean are the perfect places where the high and the huge volcanic eruption or huge tsunami can take place then waves moves closer to the shore it grows taller as the ocean becomes shallower so look at this map now what happens imagine that this is ocean surface then what happens is and this is the coastline so as the coastline becomes shallower the ocean becomes deeper so when the depth is very high when the depth is very high there the wavelength of the ocean will also be of the of the wave will also be high but what will happen is that the height the height of the wave that is the height of the tsunami will be more when it reaches the coastline so as i've written waves moves closer to the shore it grows taller it means the height of the waves increases as the ocean becomes shallower as the ocean becomes shallower the height of the waves increases see this the ocean is becoming shallower and but the height of the wave is increasing because the wave has started from the deep ocean place where the displacement of water has taken place in a large quantity and as the wave is moving it is growing in size then why is japan prone to earthquake and tsunamis so what are the reasons that J japan is so prone to earthquake and tsunami so first of all that is the geographic location of japan as we see that japan is an island country and it is completely surrounded by water from all four sides so in this map this is the location of japan and japan lies on the eastern side of russia you can say also on above taiwan so if we talk about japan why is it so prone to earthquake and tsunami first of all because of its location it is a island country and it is located in the pacific ocean the uh, the western arm of the pacific ocean and it is also situated along the pacific ring of fire this is the major reason that why so much of earthquakes takes place in japan because it is situated along the pacific ring of fire and pacific ring of fire is known to be the area which is very active with regard to earthquake most active earthquake tectonic belt in the world earthquake tectonic belt in the world most active area is considered to be the pacific ring of fire and it is the place where the 
country Japan is situated and that is why it is so prone to the earthquakes or the tsunamis because when the most active earthquake tectonic plate the tectonic plates get displaced from its own place then the tectonic plates get subduction convergence divergence any kind of activity takes place on within the tectonic plates or in, among the tectonic plates then it the japan because of its location is bound to suffer and within the ring of fire there are different tectonic belts including the pacific plate eurasian plate and the indo australian plate so see this is the location of japan and let me draw it i think now you will be able to see this is the location of japan and this is the pacific ring of fire so we can see that very clearly japan is lying on the pacific ring of fire and you can say that majority of the area of japan lies on the pacific ring of fire so this is the reason that why whenever there is any movement on the tectonic plates be it the eurasian plate pacific plate north american plate japan gets suffered then these plates like pacific plate eurasian plate and the indo australian plate then the colliding of these plates takes place and when the when these tectonic plates collide with each other earthquake volcanic eruptions and tsunamis happens now look at this map on this map you will be able to see the tectonic plates so if we will talk about japan then japan lies very close to the philippines plate then there is this eurasian plate there is this australian plate indian plate then there is pacific plate so what happens whenever there is a subduction taking place between pacific plate and the eurasian plate or the subduction takes place between the philippines plate or the indian plate or the philippines plate or the north american plate then whenever the subduction takes place and japan lies at the location so this is the location of japan so whenever japan lies on this location whenever subduction takes place and japan lies on that location so because of the subduction or even if you can say that the diversion is taking place in surrounding areas then also so the because of the subduction and the divergence of the tectonic plates japan because of its location gets the end result in the form of earthquakes volcanoes or tsunamis then the convergent plate boundaries specifically if we talk about then pacific and philippine plates are subducting as i just showed you beneath the eurasian and the north american plates and subduction process is a significant source of seismic activity including powerful earthquakes and volcanic eruptions subduction process means like for example if this is one plate this is one plate convergence of both the plates are taking place then this is one plate and then the subduction of other plate takes place so this plate goes down so this is subduction so the the points that you can come out with is tsunami takes place because of earthquake or volcanic activity within the ocean and the reason that why uh, tsunami occurs in the area of japan then the reasons that you have to give is the convergent plate boundary then you have to talk about the subduction process then you have to talk about its presence on the pacific ring of fire these are the three main points that you have to talk about and then also you can talk about earthquakes and volcano so these are the points that you have to write if the question comes that why is japan so prone to tsunamis now in the end of prelims mcq any people need to tell me the answer in the comment section which among the following can be factors for occurrence of tsunami in japan japan's geographical position tectonic plates or subduction of tectonic plates so you have to select the correct code 1 and 3 only 1 2 1 and 2 only 2 and 3 only or 1 2 and 3
as i just discussed this one you should be able to answer this one easily so give me the answer in the comment section and so that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing